This is the Arduino LEGO Robot 2, the new LEGO robot from Robot Academy. This robot is very similar to the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor set, or the Spike Prime, or the EV3. We've been using LEGO Mindstorms for over a decade, teaching LEGO robotics to students. I even won the first LEGO League World Championship two years in a row, so I'm definitely a fan of, of LEGO. Uh, but this robot is, in my professional opinion, superior to the LEGO Mindstorms robots that are available today for a few reasons. But first I'm going to start out by describing the similarities. The first similarity is that they both use LEGOs. Students can use any LEGO or LEGO Technic parts to build their contraptions, and they can attach stuff onto this design, either onto our arm here or onto the side rails. Here's an example of a ramp that one of my students made recently and this will attach to the side of the robot, turning this into a battle bot that can be used to flip other robots over. There are two key reasons why LEGO Robotics is so popular and so awesome for STEM education. The first is, rather than just building a metal robot and then performing set tasks with it, the ability to build with LEGOs opens up endless possibilities, and kids instinctively know how to build with Legos and how to turn their imagination into reality. So if you can combine that part of their brain with the STEM robotics part of their brain, you can help them to make forward progress pretty rapidly. You can teach creative problem solving and mechanical design at the same time, rather than just teaching how to build and program a robot. The second reason is classroom management because kids who are finished early can keep building with LEGO and keep customizing their designs. Here's an example of one of the missions from our video curriculum that utilizes the Arduino LEGO Robot 2. The challenge is called Operation Elimination, and the idea is that the robot is going to clear the table by bringing items from this target area back to the base area. And I'm gonna show you just two levels of it. Level one is the robot's going to clear the silverware, and level two is the robot is going to clear these plates. So here's an example of an implement that one of our students has made for this mission. And I can attach it to the robot like this so that we can test it. And now this implement is going to be benefit from the power of this servo motor, even though the student didn't have to design this part of the robot to solve this mission. So I'm going to place the robot over here have our silverware here, and then I will test it by pressing run. We got that challenge, so we're going to move on to the second level here, where we pull these plates back. Position the robot again, see if the same implement will solve this challenge. No. Interesting. So now, I would have the student go back and think about ways that they could redesign this implement to more effectively grab onto this. And now the student will come back with a modification. In this case, I've added a rubber wheel to this implement to create more friction. So let's test this and see if we can give that student the point. Perfect. Now it works because we've created an implement that is more ideally suited to this specific challenge. And now we can take this off and the next student can test their design. So you can see that by building with Legos using the stable platform of the Arduino Lego Robot 2 from Robot Academy, you can teach not only mechanical design and not only programming, but also you can teach testing methodologies in an age-appropriate manner, and engineering design process more broadly.